I think you've heard enough words tonight, so this will be very few. Um, I'd like to, you were introduced to the Board of Trustees. I'd like to take a moment to introduce you to the leadership um, at Casey. Obviously, uh, Joseph Boateng, our Chief Investment Officer. Um, Lord, thank you. Laura Sagan, our Executive Vice President for Human Resources and Organization Development. Mar Marva Hammonds, our Executive Vice President for Child and Family Services. And Roxana Nowapress, our Chief Program Counsel and Executive Vice President for Legal Services. I, I don't think that our chief financial officer is here, Dave Danielson. He um, traveled from Seattle to here only to get the flu somewhere along the way, so we advised him to stay away. Um, <laughs> and, and Dr. David Sanders, who is our um, executive vice president for systems improvement, who manages our technical support teams that go across the country to D.C. and Puerto Rico, um, working with all 50 states to help try and improve what's happening with children. And so I will just close with two things. In front of each one of you, there's a stone of hope and a pen. And I know many of you have become kind of professional at getting a piece of lamb, a piece of chicken, a piece of fish, and writing a check. Well, tonight we're not asking you to write a check. But we, we did give you a pen. And the reason we gave you a pen is because I would ask each one of you, um, as Dana mentioned when she said, is that a real promise or is that just a nice thing to say? Well, I'm asking each of you to make a promise to yourself tonight. Take your pen and write a promise to yourself about how you are going to invest in hope in a child's life, beginning right now. And make it a real promise. And if you don't have an idea what you can do, Write down this email address, info at casey.org, I-N-F-O at C-A-S-E-Y dot O-R-G. Now, I know we got a lot of MBAs in here, and I know you know how to spell that. <laughs> but I want you to make a real promise. And you're, many of you are from New York. If you still don't have an idea, contact Gladys at the Administration for Children's Services and just say, how can I invest in hope? for the children that you serve. And I'm sure she has a list. If you want the list that Dana read off when she was here, contact us at Casey. We'll make sure you can get that list. But I'm just asking you, don't write a check, because I know you can do that. Invest in a child's life and give them a reason to hope for a better future. Dr. King said, out of a mountain of despair, we can hew a stone of hope. I ask you to take this stone so that you will never forget that the only thing standing between you and investing in hope in a child's life is you. There are no excuses. It's just about making a decision. I ask you, let's keep investing in hope until justice rolls down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. Thank you for joining us tonight, and God bless you all.